So how can we get our kids ready for this future? Well, the good news is we can all contribute through our interactions with younger members of the family. Now, we all know that maths and counting are crucial skills with many jobs requiring a good level of numerical ability. This opens up a vast range of job opportunities in the retail, scientific, technological, medical, business, IT, and teaching professions. But to avoid excluding girls from these occupations, it is vital that we start talking to them about numbers and counting at the earliest possible opportunity. So why girls in particular? Well, there is a psychological condition called maths anxiety and it's actually highly contagious. Parents and teachers can easily transmit their dislike or lack of confidence in mathematics, and it tends to affect girls more acutely than it does boys. So math anxiety is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, it actually leads to a lack of confidence in maths, which can cause poorer outcomes in standardized tests. Luckily, we can help to alleviate math anxiety by approaching numbers with a sense of open-mindedness and positivity and by talking about numbers with girls as often as we do with boys. But surely we're already doing this, aren't we? Aren't we? Well, sadly, no, we're not. Researchers in the US found that parents of two-year-olds talk about numbers or counting, for example, how many flowers can you see, three times more often with boys than they do with girls. And this is just parents having general conversations with their children. When we're aware of these biases that we hold, we can ensure that we don't perpetuate them. 